Okay, so what's happening here? Just catch up. A bit aggressive on the old centre there. We do like the discovered checks, especially on the queens and the kings. The opponent was moving really quick. Now they've stopped, they've stopped so they're not going to fall for it. Which is a damn shame.
Hmm, I'd follow it on Queen's Eye Castle in Ireland. Well, we've been practicing this exchanging of the queens, and every time we look on the evaluation, it says, You shouldn't have exchanged the queen, you idiot. You should have left it. And his bishop's protecting that. I'm going to attack, but he can defend. Yeah, I'm taking it anyway. Probably going to shout at me in the evaluation. Yet again, I exchange the queen. It says the opponent's left the game. Must be a bad connection. Oh, they're going to come back with superpowers now. soft move now nothing major going on just get the pieces together i think i think this is like a, one of those messy draws or a game that i'm gonna fluff <laughs> so here we go this pawn again we can trouble this pawn
doesn't want to give anything up. Could be a long game. I'm going to have to move a bit faster, I think. I'll end up losing on time. Mind you, it's a five second increment, so it's not too bad. As expected. Lock this pawn off. Pawn structure equal here. We've got a passer on this here. And we've got neat, neat little soldiers just to clumped together here. So, I'd say the advantage is Black's because he does have a passer. And he does have linked pawns in a sense, just his bishops blocking here. Yeah, I'd give it to Black at the moment. We need to jostle some working together. Well, they've left the game again. Must be going for some more superpowers. Yep, the back. It's an exchange of my time, really, isn't it? I don't think they will, though. I think they're going to drop here so that they can maybe link this pawn. Not sure. Ownership of the files for the rooks is key, as we've always said. Possibly the tiniest advantage is the fact his bishop's jammed in there, in here. Only the tiniest of the advantages. Uh, king's moved. <laughs> it's that <sad> moves. <laughs>
I think they're going to want to move the bishop out of this precarious position so that they can maybe get this pawn down. Or well, maybe not there, but probably want to get it somewhere so that it's doing something. Doesn't feel like it's doing anything at the minute. Let's well, drop the pawn down. Look for a pawn break where I can, behind the bishop, behind the pawn, or two potential targets, depends how it plays, but we do like the x-rays. This is probably why we sh I shouldn't have exchanged the queen because it's going to take forever and a day now to try and jostle some type of position. I think the reason why I took the queen was looking at just basically the pawn structure. I felt like, well, I still feel like there might be the slightest of advantages for us. But it does take a lot longer. And plus the position of his bishop as well. It's kind of out of the game. So that's what made me plump for taking the, the queen. I'm hoping I'm not going to rule the day. So I'm going to have to check the evaluation. We're looking to see if we can pull and break through here. I'm not too sure if they will take anyway. I don't think he has options. <laughs> Somebody's talking in the chat. It's about now. Black has a. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. But I'm. I'm hoping that. The exchange of the queen has worked out and now they've actually gone for the rook so I believe just capturing the rook gives me ownership of this file. It's either a draw or a very ugly win. So we've not have to go for the pawn break because they've relinquished ownership of the file. Now they're looking to bring the rook across. If so potentially happier because he's only got a bishop, which is white squared bishop. At the minute it's blocked off. And we have a flexible knight, so potentially that might serve us. Oh cheers. <laughs> we'll have to see how they play though. Okay, so the bishop's gone far into the corner. I'm not sure if that rook move was the right move for them. We still need to box clever. Don't want to get overconfident with anything. Right, could attack the rook, but then obviously he takes the pawn, so that's not really an interesting situation. We could do a soft move by just pushing here. And get the rook up. I think a soft move just equalizing. This is going to be a long drawn out game. The bishop is out of the game at the minute, which I'm very pleased for. He's given space to block himself even more in. So I were going to do the rook dance and then bring the bishop here to come here. So then he's got power base to attack here. So we have to be mindful of this. Mm-hmm. 
I means I'm drawn to this. I want to get activated? Am I drawn to this? Not really, because it takes. To, no, we don't. We're out there. There's nothing to do there. The knight's gonna have to stay there for a bit. Nothing can trouble it at the minute. It's doing a good job. No forks on the king. Time's running out. Let's just bring the rook up. And if we can tantalize and attack before he can get his bishop to come here, to come there. Got 11 minutes. It's a five second increment, so we should be okay. But because he does have this passer, we have to concentrate on this. We don't want this sliding past with some sly maneuvers. Getting his rook coming to support. Pushing down. Could just sit the king here blocking it all together. Have to be mindful his rook could come to the side here if we messed about. It's Mr. Calcina. God, I couldn't even see the writing there. <laughs> <laughs> hey up dude right. <laughs> crikey <sighs> see his rooks supporting there mm. Yeah, so we wanted to tantalize and attack here. He doesn't after we can push up, then at least we're advancing the pawns up. So let's attack before this bishop, before he starts thinking about the bishop coming here. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, dude. <laughs> that's, that's the worry part. We don't want to really have this... He comes there though, the knight will take. So the bishop is completely out of the game. And we didn't even do that, the opponent did that to themselves. Now he's potentially looking to get a rook exchange. don't think because if I take here then he takes then his rook has got access to attack our king and that's really not what we want because we'd have to either move up here then he starts moving around attacking these pawns on the back that doesn't look like a good picture to me I think we're just going to just block it off he may push down to be fancy but we can just take but if we do take, we have to be very careful because his rook will come down on this file. So, very long drawn out process. Definitely going to have a look at whether exchanging the queen was a good thing or not. But like I said, I mean, defensible rationale was the pawn structure. Looking at the pawns and the position of their bishop, I did feel that there was the slightest of advantages. So playing a long drawn out ending game seemed okay. okay. So it's these types of games that I'm really, really trying to practice to get better at really because I can fluff these at any stage. So we could go and block up just to be small or we could come here attack this pawn bishops protecting the pawn but we do have access to the king putting checks on and knight's got this particular thing attacking the rook as well we did bring this rook up here and we just do this one first So the tempo is that he's moved his king. We're never going to get that advantage again of having the rook here. Is that right? I'm running out of time. I'm just going to have to play that move. Right. I need not start overthinking now. This is where it all goes wrong. 
because it's funny you get into these nice positions and then boom suddenly tempo's gone your king's getting squished Okay, so we're on nine minutes, that's not too bad. <laughs> I need to, oh, I need to move quicker. But I don't want to make a silly move, Julio, you know, it's one of those, you just think, oh, I've been set up and it's, it all goes wrong. So I want to take my time, you know, like you see the masters where they're taking the time and you're going, oh, you're losing on time. And then suddenly they'll come out with a magical move. So I'm going to take my time on this one. If I take his rook comes here and then he's on this pawn and it's all a bit messy. I'm not taking the bishop. I'm going to let him suffer. Although his bishop can come here, can't it? Come there. But it's not causing too much trouble. King can come up and block. I think that works out for me. I don't see the need to take the bishop. That would be the moment where it all went wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's coming with the bishop. He wants to try and free it up, but I don't think the bishop can cause us any trouble. I think we've got something. We can now take this because the bishop isn't protecting. So it gives us space to manoeuvre around. Obviously not here because the bishop's going to put a nice little check on. But that's just for them to do something, isn't it? It's not major. Yeah, we covered all this off. We can just come up here. Uh, oh yeah, we're okay, we're okay, because if his rook comes here, we can still bring our rook potentially to here, or put some sort of checks on his king. Knight's covering off this square, and this square, so we potentially, ooh, still can go there though. <laughs> Knight, ooh, yeah, might have been a good choice. I'm trying to play it safe, Julio, seriously safe as best possible he's going to get some opportunities but i've got my little pawn cluster here coming on so i'm just trying to see if i can get them into the game don't know if i'll get that in because his rook is there oh, and it does come with the rook well there's options i'm just going to take my time and we did say bringing the rook back might have been the best thing, or putting a check on the king might be actually a checkmaker, but it's not. So he comes down. If we go up, we could probably get his rook off the board, can't we? Seven minutes, yep, yeah, okay. Because he can't go back, so he has to go here. He can't come there because the knight's blocking, so he has to come here. I could then come down. And then he has to move, and then we take his rook off the board. Is that too much of a drawish thing? This is where I'm, I'm going to fluff it up, Anna. I'm going to fluff it up. Oh, I can't go there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady on. Steady on. His bishop's covering that damn square. Oh, my life. Okay. Well, now I'm starting to panic now. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Cracky's sake, I can't do that. Um, could take the pawn, his rook comes down, puts a check on. I don't, I don't, why, I don't want that to happen. I could go for the exchange. I'm going to go for blocking, like I said. I don't know if that's right. Feels better. This rook's going to come down and start checking me. I don't know if that would be. Well, it would be checkmate, wouldn't it, if he did that? 
Anyway, I've done my move now. Six minutes. <laughs> I'm having jokes with myself here, Julio, man. This is um, crazy. It looks so simple as well. You know, if I was watching you playing this, I'd be going, no, do this, do that, do the other. And I'm sat here thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to fluff this up. I'm just saying, if he does take, then the pawn just takes, doesn't it? And then, obviously, his king can take the pawn. I bet it's a draw, in it? I bet I fluffed it up big style. I do have a little bit of touching here, maybe get some linked pawns. But my king is babysitting this pawn forever and a day. I don't know if that was right. Probably got scope to just drunk job the knight back and attack this pawn. Maybe push them up. <laughs> That's the positional play that I'm talking about right there. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like it's my own game, you know, even though I'm messing it up, I feel like it's my own. <laughs> Oh, what's with the magic of the bishop? What's with the magic of the bishop? Hmm, if we take king takes, I'm not really loving that move really. King takes. Pawn pushes. Maybe the pawn takes, pawn takes. And we've got linked pawns. I'm not too sure about that, you know. Not too sure. Well, time's running out, so I need to move. I'll take this pawn. And his rook does come down and attacks my, my king. I can drop down here. He could go and take a pawn with the rook. And then I can start messing about with his king. I'm going to do that because I've got an elevated pawn here. I think he's definitely just going to come down and put a check on the king here. Ah. <laughs> but I don't think that's got legs. Like we said, so let's move quickly. So out of all the moves that they've got, he's going to try and potentially get this pawn down. He's going to tr move his bishop out of the way, but his king's going to get squished. That's what I'm saying to myself anyway. <laughs> it's a crazy game. It's a crazy game. I'm hoping they've lost tempo with that rook move because he's coming to protect his pawn and protect his bishop. Let's push. I don't think there's time to dilly dally now. Let's get some space towards his king area. Oh, he's saving his bishop. Actually, looks like in panic mode here. Let's grab. So we've made space, just probably want to get rid of this one, but we'll try and focus on, we've got two passes at the minute. He's got one which has no protection on it at the moment. So the ugly play seems to be playing out. It's just I still have to be careful because his rook is going to be coming here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh dear me, it's not over yet, it's not over. It's going to take a while for him. He's only got the bishop and the rook looking to constantly put checks on. And we're blocking off here. He can always come and put a check here. Then we can check him. He's trying to get this pawn down as best possible. Which makes sense. But. I think. He's going to try and flag me, so I need to move quicker. And he's back again. These checks can only last so long. So I'm not too panicked about that. I think we're in good shape now.
So we'll just squish up here a little bit. It's a bit of a nightmare to watch, but it's a nightmare to be playing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just this one paw, look at that, yeah, this one paw and he's wanting to try and get down. I just think with that move that he's just done there though, he's blocked his rook from putting checks on me, so I can just sort of push up. Bishop is there, so we can't do that. Oh, crazy times, 4 minutes 20, come on, 5 seconds increment. So the position of the king doesn't look too bad, but obviously the rook is either moving one side or the other to try and push this pawn down. We'll probably go there to stop the knight from coming here to attack the pawn. It'd be awful if he gets that pawn promoted after all this hard work that we put in here. And we've got so many passes as well. Okay, so he's on four minutes as well. That's good. Yes, yeah, so he's dropped down. Mm-hmm. Must be time. Check. Hmm. Yeah, I can push, but his bishop's just going to take. Hmm. Something's gone wrong somewhere. I'll bring the rook across here, attack this pawn. Or is that too late because this pawn's just going to go eek? Bring it back and takes. Hmm, something went wrong somewhere. Let me have a look at this. Put the check on. He's come round. Do, 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 do. It's too late, isn't it? I'll come across here. Oh, battery's running down. <laughs> Oh, I'm on two minutes. Oh, scandalous. I'm going to lose on time. I'm going to lose positionally. Everything's gone wrong. Uh, oh, oh, man. Oh, that was a slip. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, give me strength and a half. Okay, is there something good out of that? Takes. What happens there? He's gone for a check. Oh, he's gone for a check. So that he can get his pawn down. Oh my life. Gone for a check. Let's just attack the rook. Oh, painful, painful. Why did he not take the rook? Shame. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, yeah, it's taken. He has taken. All right, let's go. We've got so many passes now, though. Unless, of course, oh, do I lose out? No, he lands on a black square. Oh. Now, that was ugly. It's not finished yet, but that was ugly. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right, so he's, uh, he's going to land on a dark square, so we, I suppose we squeeze up here.
So he's got a few passes to contend with now with his bishop. Oh, he's resigned. Hey, nice one. Oh my giddy. That was funky. I think positional play is a bit dangerous, but I love it. <laughs> Julio, I'm out. Cheers, my man.